morning, everybody. It's day 63, I think, the day after I posted the uh, the second of the two-parter uh, podcast. And I've packed up my backpack and everything for the day trip so the kids know. And I fed the kids. Uh, he's in the babies. So the kids know I'm making a day trip. <laughs> I'm packing the, you know, the, they were sitting on my clothes, now they're sitting on my socks, you know. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get ready and get the babies into their room. I mean, for the whole day, I would leave them in their room just to, you know, be on the safe side, you know. They got food and water, and I put fresh litter, and, you know, I'm just going to top up the food. And Agita is in this room, under the bed, but uh, she'll come out for treats, you know. And she'll have the run of the rest of the condo uh, while the babies have uh, this room, you know. Uh, so, um... Gonna go switch cars, get grass, meet the contractor, all of that stuff. I haven't made a trip in over two weeks now, so I need to. Anyway, um, from the four of us, bye for now. I will tape a bit on the trip. Bye for now. It's about half an hour later, and there's a little bit of a change of plan. Um, it's overcast here and raining a little bit, and the forecast for out there was uh, rain in the day, but clearing up in the afternoon. So I figured by the time I got there, it would be dry enough I could cut the grass. But my contractor called, and I've packed it everything, and the kids knew that I was going, and I was just about to get changed. And my contractor called, and he said, it's raining there. And he goes, yeah, grass can wait until Thursday or Friday. And Thursday or Friday, I just checked uh, the... Uh, Forecast is supposed to be sunny here and there and dry. So I said, okay, <laughs> let's just leave it till Thursday or Friday. Uh, tomorrow I want to be here because uh, they're coming to check the fire alarms and stuff. And I you know the, the kids freaking out with people coming into the apartment when I'm not here. So, uh, hello everybody. I was with the, the kids at home all day and then I, uh, and I did feel some, <laughs> it's kind of a gloomy day earlier become nice town. And I was at home and I was like, oh, you know, it's been nine weeks. <laughs> I'm not going today to the country. And it was kind of, you know, and all the stuff that happened with the, the road rage and all the, you know, CNE and all the humaning, as my friend said, just by seeing the uh, podcast, she was feeling a bit humaned out. So I'm like, you know, it's a bit of a ball, yes fairly strong actually but it was okay I just wrote it out again you know so we made it you know and um, just stayed at home with the kids and the kids were quite happy to were very happy to have me home because they thought I was gonna uh, make the day trip earlier and then they got kind of surprised when I stayed home so they were happy and then I was like a, I fought the dragon and I made it and I and then I'm like I got to become nice so I might as well come out for a walk so I left everybody with the run of a car they seemed to be getting along basically it's, Agita getting along with the others. So they leave her alone, she leaves them alone, and everybody just sleeps in the separate spots. So I said I might as well just go for a walk. It's a little windy, but it's not too hot. And um, I get to my favorite uh, gelato place here. Uh, so I'm having um, pistachio. It's pretty good. And it's uh, sat by the bench for a while first over there with the water. And I was just going to get some takeout, but I got frozen food and stuff for later. I get some, you know, shrimp dumplings and things like that I can fry. So, I... Uh, Hello, everybody. I just got back uh, a few minutes ago. I haven't even really put away my uh, my, uh, my coat. And uh, one baby was sitting there. He just kind of sat up. But uh, one baby there. One baby there. And Nikita there. Which is pretty much where she was when I left, you know. And I think this one was on the blue bed instead of the pink bed. And that one, I think, was under the chair, or on the chair. So anyway, uh, had a good walk, you know, for sure, ice cream, and back with the kids. There was a bit of ball earlier. I mean, it did ramp up a bit, you know. But it's okay. I mean, you know, just rode it out again, you know, the walk and the, you know, all of that stuff. And, you know, back to the kids. And now, now I'm just going to um, work on a journal entry and read maybe or... Hello everybody, I'm downtown, I took the shuttle bus and I'm at uh, uh, Little India on uh, Queen Street you know, uh, and uh, for a change from uh, Salah King and I just ordered the uh, lunch special with the two uh, veggie dishes and, the, and an appetizer. 
so they don't give you a choice of advertiser, so we'll see what they bring. Um, but um, I've, I've come here fairly frequently before the pandemic when they had uh, uh, buffets and a few times also after the pandemic. Um, now, um, the news is uh, the people came to, guy really, came to check the um, uh, smoke detector and fire alarm in the morning. Very simple. Just uh, uh, check to see that the speaker was working and to check the um, uh, fire detector, he turned on the small hairdryer <laughs> and pointed it at the detector you know, for 30 seconds on warm air, and then it beeped, and he said, oh, it's working, and I caught it, expecting something a little bit more high tech than that. But anyway, and the kids went to hide um, when he came in, and then they came out, and it's okay, I you know, spent a good night at home, but there was wrong pull last night, and fairly strong pull this morning too. And I guess it's time, it's the nine weeks, and then all that stuff, the, the, you know, uh, the, the road rage incident, and the, you know, Tibetan restaurant incident, and the, you know, all the other stuff, you know. So um, there was both. I mean, you know, there's no question. But I'm, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing the house tomorrow. I'm hoping that there is noticeable changes. If, if, if I can really get the house onto the market, within a couple of weeks, um, there will be major rechatteling. And then I can start actually seriously hunting for um, for houses in, in Chatham, you know, cat friend, cat family friendly houses. Okay, my uh, my thali has arrived and I get two veggies. So this is a uh, vegetable frazi, you know, and it's kind of mixed vegetables. And that's uh, palak paneer, that's rice. And this is a um, kora. Appetizer. It's actually quite good with the sweet sauce, but I also had him bring some green chilies, you know. And I'm just getting a, a cola. And after this, I may, rather than the art gallery, I may just go to the Scotiabank Cinema, the 2 3 30 showing of Bullet Train in the surround cinema, whatever they call that, Theatre X. I've got so many points. So we'll see what the timing is like, you know. And uh, I might just do that instead of. Uh, it's, it's about two fifteen now, so I could always just walk around, or I could even go to the library for a short time and then head to the cinema. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, uh, so far so good, you know. Uh, food, food is good. I've just tasted everything. It's good. Bye for now. So uh, bullet train with the you know the side uh, the side screen thingy surround uh, vision whatever. Using my points. Yeah, well, it's even sillier than uh, than Soar. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a comedy action, dark humor or something. It's just silly. <laughs> it passed a couple of hours. You know, very deep budget. You know? But anyway, they're, uh, they're just, you know, silliness. But wasted two hours. Fine. And it was on points. If I had paid real money for it, I would have been a little bit pissed off, but it's on those, uh, it's on my points. Anyway, I'm going to try to catch this 515 bus, 615 bus, whatever it is. Should be able to get there to Union uh, Station 20 minutes from here. And then back to the kids, and then tomorrow day trip. Oh, you know, like these escalators. Anyway, bye for now. Just some very fancy Lamborghini whatever thing there. Anyway, bye for now. I saw all those people buying those overpriced uh, blue shirts with blue jays written on them and making, generating uh, capital or whatever it is that my former acquaintance said. I still don't see how that really does much. It really makes very, very little sense to me. You know? So all these people are just going to watch the, 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 the guys hit a ball with a stick. Makes no sense. Zero sense. Bye for now. Just got back a few minutes, a couple of minutes ago. Just took off my coat, and we get uh, both the babies are here. I let them out of their room. Uh, they're here on the dining table, and Agita is very nicely settled here on the ego chair. So I'm just gonna have a shower, get changed, uh, spend some time with the kids, feed the kids, and then uh, try to go to bed relatively early. And tomorrow is uh, my day trip. You know. Uh, anyway. Bye for now. I'll probably tape next tomorrow on the trip. Bye for now.
everybody, I'm here in the Pacifica. I'm on my way to the house uh, and I had to stop here at Bad Boy to pick up the stacking kit for the washer and dryer, which wasn't available when the appliances were delivered. And they called me yesterday, very happy actually with the service. <laughs> they called me yesterday, actually while I was at the cinema, but fine. And um, uh, uh, she said it's available, you can pick it up anytime. And I said, well, I'll pick it up on my way tomorrow. So here I am, it's about 10 o'clock, 10.15. So it's a tiny, I thought it was like going to be a big box. It's like, you know, two or three little thingies. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm on my way to the house. Uh, spend the morning with the kids, got the babies into their room as usual for the day trips. And uh, there was, uh, you know, had the run of the, has the, has the run of the rest of the condo as usual when I go. Yeah, but I've got, everybody's got food, water, litter boxes, you know, uh, clean litter box. Okay, here at the house, had some issues at the garage when I was switching cars. Yeah, he kind of scraped the old Mercedes when I was doing a car shuffle. Oh, well, it's just a car. It's a car. I'll show you. It's a bit of a scrape, but it's okay. I need a battery for it anyway. So I'm just going to park it there and leave it until next year or the year after and worry about it then. And I'll get that one, the Porsche towed to the other garage and uh, leave it there for a couple of years. You know, right now the priority is the house and there's a bit of a setback. I'm Long story, not going to go into it, but... The when the water was turned on and he's you know he turned on the water to find another couple of leaks. We had, there was one leak from before which uh, we knew about and he fixed and then he did all the walls and everything and then he found that there were a couple of other pipes that had burst back then five years ago four years ago whatever you know or you know I didn't know until we turned the water back on or that there were leaks in them not burst so now there's setback so it's going to take him a couple of days he's going to have to replace some more pipes so and uh, you know he's he's made a hole here he's made a hole up there and he's had to redo it so appliances are here <laughs> the fridge is there it's got an ice maker which is not going to be hooked up so you know if somebody buys the house and they really really want ice they can get it hooked up you know if i don't end up selling selling theirs really like to but if I can't sell it and I'm going to use it and I use it occasionally I hardly ever use ice and I could just use trays <laughs> and that's the stove and the um that's the dishwasher it goes there you know? and the kitchen sink is going to go under the um, window it used to be in the corner before and that's the washer dryer and I got a stacking kit today which is basically four legs to go under the dryer and then the dryer goes on top of the washer. That's it. It's like fifty dollars for a stacking kit. If it's the right thing, you know, my that's what my 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 uh, contractor thinks is just like four legs and then those legs go under here. I don't know for fifty bucks. That's like I don't know. I don't know if that's the right thing. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go back to bad boy. You know. Uh, so and then he's got this. Um, this was patched up. Uh, he made uh, when when the water was leaking and it was an emergency. He tried to access the water under the house by ripping up the patio. It didn't help, the, the, but he's fixed that up. So, so there's some progress, and the, these lights are you know the just have to push them into place. And I noticed, I just noticed, there's a new light fixture there. So there's the light fixtures that can be a lot honk. There's slow progress, but it's you know in setbacks like that one. But other than that, you know, appliances are here! Hi, appliances! <laughs> After four, four and a half years, we've got appliances. Kind of not right in the right places, but never mind, you know? So now I'm going to, uh, and I cut the grass, okay, so that's a, you know, and he talked to his assistant, who, you know, um, talked about the Zen of addiction, and I think he, uh, uh, he's an advocate of, of alcohol over other substances. So anyway, so we had a kind of philosophical discussion with him. And then uh, uh, after they left, I cut the grass. And uh, so it's okay. There's a bit of a setback, but I'm still getting the uh, contra the realtor to come next week and do a couple of appraisals. One as it is now and one completely. I'm here in, in the town, uh, the small town, closest to my uh, country house. And I stopped to get gas in this one because it's going to go back to storage. And while gas is still cheap, it's supposed to go up, I think, uh, next week. So, and I stopped and I, you know, I had some cola, but it's gotten warm now. And rather than cola, I decided to you know, occasionally I do try energy drinks. Not a big fan, but this was like two for five dollars. So, and then I'm paying for the energy drinks and the gas in the front. 
and I had like a 20 minute discussion with the um, with the cashier about the benefits and uh, advantages and disadvantages and which um, uh, which uh, energy drinks she likes and which ones her son likes and which ones her boyfriend likes and which ones have coffee and which ones don't and you know what I'm like going, yeah I do kind of like you know you get you get a mix of people out here in the country you get you do stop to note my realtor's office which is on the way to the garage in the little other little town on the way to the garage and um she's not there but i called her number it's uh, up in the door and uh i talked to her a bit and said you know he's saying he'll get it done by end of september but you know when i'm putting a little pressure on him but uh, come and give me two appraisals next week as is and completely finished and um you know, little things like uh, the <laughs> the fridge has an ice maker, but it's not connected. And she says that's a little bit of a negative. If he can connect it, you know, he's, she said it's better to have a fridge without an ice maker than one with an ice maker and not connected. <laughs> and I'm like, it's too late now. It's there. <laughs> but anyway, little things like that. So I talked to her and I made an appointment for next Thursday at three. So uh, one way or another, we'll get the um, we'll get the appraisals and kind of move move on that. And I can put a little bit more pressure on my contractor. It feels like movement. Anyway, bye for now. Okay, that's the dent. You know, the scratch dent, whatever thingy. Yeah, you can see it there. See there? And then this this thing is... Yeah! Well, such a paint. A little... A little... A little filler. You know what? Uh, just keep it in the dark and then you don't see it. You know, like, like, that's why I parked the car this way. So that, if you're just looking at the car... You can go, oh, it's mint. There's no scratches or anything. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. You know, it's, a, it's just a car. Right now, the priority is finding a cat-friendly house for myself and my kids in 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 Chatham, so we can you know have a little bit of a fresh start and fresh energy. So right now, it's okay. Eventually, I will get this fixed. So, so I'm gonna get the mini out. You know, put the Cadillac in. And uh, head back to the kids. Oh, day whatever, 64. Six. Hello, everybody. I'm here at Finn McCall's in uh, scenic London, Ontario. And um, the Mini is parked just down there on the other side. Uh, I'm sitting on the patio because it's it's pleasant. It's a little on the cool side, but I've my jacket, i got my mini hat. Which is, yeah, I'll keep it on. But anyway, um, I came here because according to when I checked online, it said that my uh, scene points can be redeemed at, at Finn McCall, the, the chain that owns it, which is affiliated with Swiss Chalet and Harvey's and something else. Or some, they call something pubs. But I came here and she said, oh, she checked and she said, we don't accept uh, scene points. And I said, it doesn't matter, I'm here, you know, so I'll just, uh, you know, put on my visa. So, um, uh, and I came, you know, my one of my kids is named Finn, except he spells it differently. He spells it F-I-N-N. This is, I think, the uh, actual uh, Celtic, you know, Finn, Fionn, Finn, you know, uh, uh, and it's actually named after the hero. Finn McCool, you know, the uh, the Celtic hero, and uh, I named him Finn, uh, sort of after that, but more after the use of um, uh, Finn McCool in um, James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake, and he's got, uh, he's got the Ballad of Finnegan, which is a separate thing, and he's also got references to Finn McCool in the, I mean, in his obtuse language that he kind of made up for the book of James Joyce. So, um, and I named Finn uh, Finn because he, when he was a baby and I just got him, he used to climb onto my um, laptop while I was writing and write himself and it looked like the letters uh, that he put together looked like something out of uh, uh, James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake, you know. <laughs> okay, our food has arrived. It's the penne a la ale. Look at the vegan chicken. So, uh, what did I say? Ficken? Fig chicken? Uh, it does taste sort of chickeny, you know? And I put, uh, and the um, the server was like going, oh, you know, and if you want um, crushed, or you want uh, uh, 
you know, the ground black pepper. And I said, I never say no for any form of pepper. And she goes, oh, neither do I. And that's why when you order the extra um, you know, chilies and this and that, she goes, oh, that's, uh, that's the kind of meal I would have myself. You know? <laughs> I don't think she knows that the queen of <laughs> that big bottle of Tabasco is probably going to be gone. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, it's good. Okay, finally got back. That was again, the holdup was due to construction going down to one lane. And it was just crawling. Only like three kilometers or four kilometers from home. But we're almost there. The return trip was very, very slow thanks to uh, construction. But you know, almost there. There's a, just turning onto Lakeshore and then there's another kilometer. Gonna, um, um, Almost there. My poor kids. We've been alone. It's like 11 o'clock now. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the stopping in London for dinner slowed things down. And then, uh, construction. But it's better than being on a binge. I feel like, so anyway, kids, I'm almost home. Hey, kids, They're just over there. Okay, almost home. That was, that was a long trip back. Anyway, bye for now. Good morning, everybody. It's about uh, nine o'clock in the morning, the day after the um, the day trip, and we get. Uh, I spent the night in our own room with the, the babies in the bed, and Edita was in the hall, and uh, just got up, give everybody treats, and we moved to this room. Yeah. We got uh, both the kids from the bed. Uh, right now, one is drinking water. One is here. One for the babies, and Edita is very nearby. She's just there. And that uh, chair in the hall, so she can kind of keep an eye from there. So the family's all—they're all kind of nearby here. Okay, uh, yesterday was sort of a crazy day with uh, everything with the the scraping of the uh, old 280. I told my friend, uh, you know, that's, that's the reason why I don't name my cars. If, if the 280 had been named Heidi or something, it you know, would have been more upset. So it's really just a big catnip toy. It's like Daddy's catnip toy. It's like, you know, a big version of very big version of a catnip toy. You know? So, uh, the, and the important thing right now is the house, as the kids, obviously. The number one is the kids and, uh, and, and my friends and everything else, all the other pushes. And right now, the house, and there was a bit of a setback with that, uh, with those uh, finding the additional leaks from four years ago, five years ago, that surfaced when the water was reconnected. So that was a bit of a setback. So, and then really bad traffic on the way back. Oh my god, really bad. Twice just crawling once, uh, once after Brantford and once uh, after almost getting back due to uh, construction. So, Took a long time to get home, and then when I got back, then I was just so relieved to see the kids. Like, Hello, everybody. I'm here at uh, Sochelle, and I checked, and she said you can redeem some points, not all of them, not you know, or not you know, you can't pay for your whole meal with points, but you get like a, you know, you get something off. And I'm like, fine, I got the points, I might as well use them. Yeah, so um, I'm having Sochelle for it's like a late lunch, very late lunch, early supper. 4.30 now so um, I'm going to have this and then uh, if the timing works I'm going to see a movie at uh, 4.50 uh, at the Cineplex and you know, I can use all my points for that and I'm thinking of seeing a thousand years no, three thousand years of longing as I told us uh, so you know so I don't know if it's the first movie I would have picked, but there's really not much else that I would have. Uh, I think I've read a couple of good reviews of it, so it might be interesting. So I might as well use my points. Okay, the poll was strong last night, it was strong this morning, but it was okay. I was with the kids, and then I got a call from the water people at the house. There was some problem, and I'm like, hey, don't tell me it's flooded again. But there's something with the meter, and then you know, my aunt, uh, my. Uh, um, Contractor and he was there and he checked and the meat was okay and the, it hasn't reflooded. Everything's good and my food has just arrived. Thank you very much. Uh, the only thing, do you have any Tabasco, please? Yes. Okay, food is come. Bye for now.
It is, uh, you're just about to see uh, to, there, uh, 2,000 years of dragging. So I just got it in, and um, I paid for the, uh, she said you could only do a certain percentage, but you know, when she rang it up, and she said, uh, you know, asked for the mask, and it said it covered almost the entire bill. So I had to pay like a dollar out of my pocket, so I just gave her a really good tip. So cash. Um, so it covered there, and she was like, oh, you got a lot. everybody goes, you got a lot of points. You should use them. And then I came here, and then I bought the ticket. And you know what? Uh, this happened at the last place, too. I don't even have to say anymore. And I, I, I kept my uh, my mask down a bit so they could see my white hair. But it worked, my, my, my white beard, because they automatically gave me the senior thing. I mean, on, on, the, on the points, I didn't have to pay cash. But uh, when I looked at it, it said 11 whatever, the senior rate. And it said senior, and I, I didn't say my senior, so I guess I'm looking my age. But it's good, it gives me a discount. I'm using less points. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go see the movie, <laughs> and I got some, I got some chocolate bars. You know, I got so many points, I might as well use them. I hope it's not a mistake, and I have to pay all these points back. That would be a bit of a bummer. Anyway, bye for now. Just finished the movie. He just coming out of the Cineplex. Uh, uh, it was actually quite good. You know, it's sort of, sort of fantasy fairy tale. Uh, it's a mythology. <laughs> Good, good, good acting. I, I liked it. You know, it, was like, it was like a little on the sort of semi-romantic side for me, but still, it was, it was actually a good film. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed it. So anyway, and then now heading back to the kids. Okay, bye for now. Hello, everybody. I just got back uh, a couple of minutes ago, took off my coat and stuff, my jacket, and I let the babies out of their room. <laughs> immediately settled there and one baby immediately settled here and Agita is in one of her favorite spots here you know, just, uh, uh, beside this table you know so you two of the kids in here the Gita and with the babies and we got the other baby here uh, on the whole, good outing. I had the, what is Saturday? I think I'm pretty sure it's day 66. So we get uh, one baby there, and we get one baby there, and we got a Gita there under the bed. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to go into a lot of details about this, but I just I'll just say last night the pull was very strong again, very very strong, and then it was sort of there in the morning too. I just battled, that's all, and I'm, I'm not going to go into more details about, you know, how how the pull manifests and, you know, where I look online and all of that stuff, I'm not going to, you know, but uh, um, but I'll just say it was very strong, really, really, really tough, but, you know, beat it, you know, and uh, I was appreciating sober family time with the kids in the morning, and then pull kind of ramped up a bit again but it's okay i just wrote it out and now now it's better so and it's a nice day so i'm going to go out to wash the car and use more of my pool. wash the uh, mini and I'm, I'm going to take it out and dry it hardly anybody here today i thought it would be packed because it's going to be a little sunny but i guess everybody for labor day weekend <laughs> what's going to wait <laughs> busy with stuff so anyway um wash the car i'm going to dry it and then I'm going to go to Montana. It's not, uh, there's one by the airport as well. Not Milestones because Milestones doesn't accept scene points anymore. I think I discovered that a while back. But anyway, so Montana's and then pet food, uh, pet smart, and uh, maybe some groceries. I don't know if that's, I don't know. And then back home, back to the kids. And then edit and post. Bye for now. Hello everybody, I'm here at Montana's by the airport and they got a good hot sauce, so she brought that. I asked the Tabasco and now I remember they have really good hot sauces. So, I have every chicken, I mean they don't have a, a, a brunch special here, but uh, they're having um, buttermilk fried chicken with mashed potatoes and um, she said, oh yeah, yeah you can redeem your points, so I go, thank you, <laughs> come on, wow, <laughs> so many damn points. It's not, a, it's not a mistake. I just hope I don't have to pay them back. I'm using them all up. Anyway, bye for now. Here at Montana's, I'm having the chicken, uh, chicken fried chicken, or the buttermilk fried chicken, with their own uh, the hottest hot sauce. It's okay. It's not super hot, but it's okay. And, uh, you get uh, beans and uh, mashed potato, and then instead of bread, you get this thing. It's supposed to be like I think a biscuit or a cake. Or 
kind of Swedish instead of bread. It's actually quite good. You know, the hot sauce is hot, you know, so uh, I'm enjoying it. You know, best thing of all, I can use points for this. Anyway, bye for now. I think I know what that thing is. That thing, you know, it's uh, cornbread. Our food is good. Bye for now. It was actually quite good, and it's the same system as that uh, Swiss chalet. You can claim up to, or you can use up to $20 worth of points at once. So the bill came to 26 uh, So she uh, looked at the thing and she said, I still have 200 cents or something. <laughs> but she said, oh, you know, you you only have to pay $6 and whatever cents. And she's got, you want to put on your, uh, I had my debit card ready and I said, $6, I made as well. Just, so I just, you know, I just gave a ten dollar tip, you know. So, um, so anyway, everything is, you know, for like I ate all of that for like ten dollars. <laughs> so you know, uh, it was uh, it was really good uh, food, you know. So now gotta go um, pit smart, maybe groceries, and back. Car is washed. Yeah. Bye for now. I, I keep thinking, I keep hoping this point thing is not a mistake. That <laughs> I'm not gonna claim it back. But uh, everybody, I'm back, and after PetSmart, I was gonna stop and do some shopping and go to Drug Mart. I, I thought I needed, which I did, need to go to the bathroom because of all of that uh, the chicken and that hot sauce. Must be very hot because I got rid of an upset stomach. they will be home just in time. <laughs> Avoided a, a bad little bark accident, but anyway, I gotta go back. back. So we get, uh, uh, and everybody was getting along fine. Uh, both the babies were sitting here, one on the chair, one under, and I guess I was on this chair. So the whole family was like together in a little space while I was out. So uh, I get us there, and both the babies are here, you know. And I'm now going to edit and tape, um, or edit and post. Uh, a lot of material, but I'll try to edit it down. It was, it's been a bit rough. I mean, you know, it has really been a bit rough. Uh, you know, that nine weeks to ten weeks, I think last time was rough too. And then this time, with the stuff with the, you know, scratching the Mercedes and the setback of the house and all of that stuff didn't really help. But uh, the um, setting an appointment for the uh, realtor, that's a good thing. But still, you know, the pull has been very, very strong. However, I think today... Editing, posting, uh, going out and using my points, and you know, the, the babies and Nagita getting along while leaving the ball loose while we did. That's, uh, that's a huge push. So, made it to day 66, and the, the next immediate goal is Thursday because I, I'm meeting my uh, realtor, uh, getting the estimates, and I gotta, I gotta make it to Thursday. Damn. I gotta keep going because that that will be ten weeks and two days. So it'll, I gotta pass my previous, you know, benchmark. And hopefully, if if you know, if she says, you know, yeah, it's almost ready, we can start to, you know, if he just moves a little bit in the next couple of weeks, we can, you know, get it on the market by end of September. That will be a huge, huge push, rechanneling. So let's see how it goes. So far, so good. Made it to day sixty-six. Uh, been very tough. Very tough, but you know, but we made it. The kids, you know, with the kids' help, I'm here. You know, so anyway, you know, uh, uh, from the four of us, so from one baby and two baby and um, Agita, and I got lots more uh, gourmet cat food, all kinds of uh, you know <laughs> flavors that they might like. Uh, so from um, the four of us, so from Agita, uh, the two babies. <laughs> One's here. <laughs> and one's the other one the other one's eating food. So from the four of us, you know, including myself, the nuttiest of professors. Bye for now. See you next podcast.